Good evening. Chilling details tonight on a domestic violence case in which someone shot a woman in the head and left her for dead. It's been 17 years since Deanna Louderbeck of Hamilton was attacked by her ex-husband, Gary Heath. And tomorrow, Heath is up for parole. Nine News reporter Sayed Shabir is here now with how Louderbeck is reacting to his possible release. Sayed? Carol Clyde Louderbeck describes Heath as a predator. And there's no doubt in her mind that if he is released, he will hurt someone again. Lauterbeck says Heath has been granted parole before, and tonight she hopes the same mistake isn't made again. Marrying the devil himself, not fine, I, can, I know that. It was August 3rd, 1992, when Deanna Lauterbeck made what she says is the biggest mistake of her life. She married Gary Heath. Nobody leaves him unless they die. And he kills him. It was on Louderbeck's wedding day when she received her first beating from Heath. Eight months into the torturous marriage, Louderbeck filed for divorce. A little more than a year later, on Louderbeck's 28th birthday, Heath decided he wasn't ready to let her go. He had his hands behind his back. I thought it was flowers or something. Turns out it was a gun. Louderbeck says Heath shot her point blank in the side of her head. The wound has left her partially paralyzed and confined to a wheelchair. But that hasn't stopped her from bouncing back. I could actually feel good. I've got a life. I've got a new business. He don't. Prior to Heath shooting Louderbeck, he was convicted of stabbing another ex-wife with a pair of scissors. He was also convicted of murdering a former girlfriend. Still, Heath has found a way to avoid long sentences. And tomorrow, he will once again be up for parole. If they let him out, what you going to do? He's going to find somebody else that's successful. He's going to throw his charm on them like he's going to do the parole board and like he did me and all the others. And somebody else is going to end up dead. Now, Louderbeck isn't letting Heath ruin her life. She's published a book on her story called Divorce by Murder, and she's also started her very own criminal investigation business. Now, Heath received a sentence of 46 years to life with eligibility for parole after 15 years. He has served 16 years. And the parole board will review his case tomorrow. Clyde? All right, Sayed, thanks.